Life goes up and it goes down I know my mom taught me that I figured why we fool around So little And we keep track of time Being so serious Idiots Thinking it will matter Keep me company downtown Before the clock runs out Sun is shining but the rain is welcome too Friends are nearby, don't need another view Time is not on my mind but then it's you Oh, I love it when the love comes around And then I remember All things must pass But I'm not gonna wake up, wake up I'm not ready, let me have another day Don't wake up, wake up Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to a very busy morning in my life. I'll go into detail in just a minute here as to why everything is super busy. But first, I'm just going to get myself ready for the day. It's very early in the morning and I'm going to switch over our laundry so that can get too drying and then I can put it all away for the family before we head out. And then I'm going to head downstairs and go get breakfast ready for every one. The twins are actually drinking some whole milk now mixed with regular milk in their bottles. So I have to go prepare that. And then I also go and prepare them breakfast as well and breakfast for the big boys. We usually just do something very simple for breakfast. We'll do things like strawberries and pancakes or strawberries and waffles, whatever fruit we have on hand. Sometimes the kids will want Cheerios with milk or scrambled eggs. We will do that too. Or if we have bagels, we don't usually have too many bagels bagels in the house but if we happen to have them from having guests over for the weekend or anything we will have bagels but usually we try and keep it pretty nutritious and we'll do like protein waffles like the Kodiak ones the kids love those or like Z bars something nutritious to kick off the morning especially on a school day. So speaking of waffles, you guys know how they can become a crummy mess in your freezer. I like to go ahead and just take my little cordless vacuum and vacuum out the crumbs. This is so simple versus just taking everything out. I can just pull things out as needed and vacuum out those crumbs if I'm not doing a deep clean, but I still want to keep my freezer clean if that makes sense. I'm also going to go ahead and start loading up the trunk of our car. These are all gifts for people that I have to bring up to New Jersey. We are making many trips up there and I'll go into detail about that in a little bit here. But first I want to set up the twins milestone blanket. This is where I take their monthly photos every month and I wanted to do an Easter themed one for their 11 month photo. I cannot believe I just have 11 and 12 months and that is it. No more baby milestone photos. It's so sad, but it's also exciting to watch them grow up. But what I like to do is actually take some clear tape, the packing tape, and I tape the blanket down to the rug. That way when we put the babies on top and they're kind of moving, it doesn't move the blanket out of place. You guys should definitely try that if you're doing baby milestone pictures. But I'm just going to put some little plastic eggs all around this and just make it cute and festive for Easter time. The photo will be up hey guys, on my Instagram. welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new here. My name is Amanda. I'm a stay-at-home mom of four boys and we are preparing for a ton of busy weekends ahead. This weekend, we have to head up to New Jersey. We have my sister-in-law's baby shower. We have um, a birthday to celebrate. We also have my husband's parents coming in, so we're going to see them. Then the following weekend, we have the twins' baptism. Then we have some of my husband's family coming to stay with us. Then the following weekend, we have to go back up to New Jersey for Easter for a stint of like five days. Um, so it's just going to be a very chaotic time, especially with the twins toting them back and forth and all of their things. It's very stressful. 
when you have not just one but two small babies you have to remember the formula the diapers right now we're mixing the milk and the formula so making sure we have milk wherever we go foods that are appropriate for them staying on naps and bedtime routines I'm big on routines so are my kids it really helps us all out and for anyone that says you know it's okay they can just stay up till 10 p.m. tonight it's not okay because then who's dealing with the repercussions the next day my child is usually miserable I'm dealing with it while well, the person who has said that is like you know nowhere to be found so we're gonna try and stick to our routines as best as we can let me know down in the comments below do you guys thrive on routine or are you just kind of free-flowing routine works best for us especially with four kids just keeping everybody on track so fingers crossed everything goes smoothly over these next few weeks because it is super busy we still have school per usual my husband has therapy so we're doing like our normal day-to-day -day, like plus more like with the travel and the events and all of that so i'm gonna pack the twin suitcase for this weekend kind of show you guys what i usually pack for them they do have pack and plays at my mom's house i keep a spare set of binkies there and a spare set of bottles so i don't have to bring those and then we also have some little like mickey mouse stuffed animals up there that the twins can use so i don't have to bring all of their stuffed animals so yeah let's get the twins suitcase packed really quickly i have a sleeve of diapers downstairs already i have to grab the formula trying to think what else I have to pack the sleep sacks that's for sure I think that's everything I think that's why my brain is always so stressed out it just has like a running list I think that's like really natural for us moms but after this I need to go and clean up the twins breakfast I want to do their 11 month photo shoot because they're going to be 11 months on Monday we return on Sunday and it's just going to be too chaotic to try and take their picture they're just going to either want to play or go to bed depending what time we get home that night so I don't even want to mess with that um so yeah let's jump into the day and get some things done all right I'm just going to kind of talk as I pack they're just going to share a suitcase for this time since it's only for two nights I'm just going to pack some extra binkies even though I do have two there we are almost aging out of this size so might as well get some use out of this last pack I have four sets of sleepers plus they're already going to be wearing like a regular outfit which I can wash when I get up there so sleepers are going to be the most convenient for us um, especially going like place to place with them this way if we need to change them it's just super simple I'm going to pack two packs of wipes I actually use the Huggies wipes but I had two of these left over and I just kind of want to use them up I don't really love this brand of wipes they're not um, like I guess they don't clean as well in my opinion um so we have those the binkies we have two sleep sacks we have some bottles that i borrowed from my mom's last time i have to bring those back because we need them and the last thing are these disposable bibs i found this huge pack on amazon um and since we're going to be eating at restaurants um, and going place to place, house to house. I didn't want to have to worry about carrying around dirty bibs. Um, like after they use them and like bringing them back to the car or forgetting them somewhere and just only having a handful of bibs. So I found this big pack of 50 of them, which I think I'm just going to leave up there or bring a few back home because these are going to be so handy for each of the twins and I could just throw it away after. So we have that. Like I said, I have the formula and diapers downstairs so we're all good there and that's what the twins are going to be bringing here's their really cute uh suitcases they each got one for christmas this year from my mom and stepdad so cute perfect for travel so right now they can just share this one <laughs> So here is the green blanket. It's kind of like a mix of an olive and army green that I swapped out for that neutral blanket. I actually saw on Marie Love Asbury's channel, she had a blue version of this blanket and I thought it was so pretty. It was right on Amazon and really affordable. I'll link it down below, but I love this green color for spring and summertime. Um, and it just goes really well. I think with the neutral bedding, it added a pop of something.
my gosh, pardon my appearance. I am already tired from today. I took Mason to school and I completely forgot that it was stuffy day where they can bring a stuffed animal. So I was like, quick, grab whatever's in the car. Um, I think he grabbed like a Paw Patrol one that we happen to have in the car, thank goodness. Um, we are picking him up a little bit early today from school just because we do have to travel and we don't wanna get stuck in the rush hour traffic, especially with the babies and them needing bottles and diaper changes. Um, so that is going on. Just got the twins down for their nap. I'm gonna attempt a little workout, hopefully to clear my mind. If I'm being real with you guys, I'm feeling really anxious right now and just nervous, I guess, with all of the upcoming travel and the twins and their schedule and getting back home and unpacking and repacking, um, plus making sure I have everything ready for every event. Um, so it's just a little bit overwhelming right now. My day to day normally is pretty overwhelming, but then when you stack like other things on top of it, it just gets to be a little bit extra. So definitely feeling that today. I'm not sure if I'm going to drink my energy drink or not because I don't know if that's going to make me feel more overwhelmed or if it's just going to energize me for my workout. We shall see. Max and I also stopped by the bakery and picked up some goodies to bring up to New Jersey to our families. So that is accomplished already. I just have to work out, get the twins lunch ready, get Max dressed, get his lunch. He's going to play for a little bit. We have to load up the car, pick Mason up for school, and then we are going to be on our way. So I hope you guys are enjoying the video this far. It's just a realistic morning in my life. Today is really chaotic. It's not slow and relaxing at all, um, but that's kind of how my mornings go. I'm usually most productive in the morning, and then I usually like to take it a little bit slower by evening if I can, if everything allows, if the stars align. So yeah, that's kind of what's going on today. And I hope you guys are kind of finding this motivational too. Maybe it's motivating you to get up and do something in your home, whether that's, you know, pack or unpack or declutter, clean something, cook something. I definitely want to put more recipes into my videos as well. Today, I'm obviously not going to be cooking. I'm just doing a quick lunch and we're out the door. I'm not really sure our dinner plans. I don't really plan on cooking when we're up in New Jersey. Um, just because we'll just make quick simple meals at my mom's and then we have the shower then we have to go to my husband's family and then we're eating out um, with my sister and my dad and everyone so the meals are going to be kind of sporadic up there but when we get back next week I'm planning on filming a whole bunch of content for April and I definitely want to include some rest. Also, I wanted to thank you guys for all of the love and the support with the CRPS issue. Um, I've actually heard from some of the subscribers here that you guys have gone through this too which is incredible. I didn't know so many people like this affected so many people and their families families. Um, basically, I wanted to mention that my husband does have type 2 CRPS complex regional pain syndrome from a surgery that went wrong. His nerve was directly damaged from the anesthesiologist who dinged his sciatic nerve. Um, and he came home from his Achilles tendon surgery and he was completely fine for a week. And all of a sudden, this pain came on out of nowhere. Um, a lot of times doctors dismiss the pain. They don't really know too much about this disease yet. So everything's still kind of unfolding. I know there has been a Netflix documentary on it. I cannot bring myself to watch that, nor do I want to. I do not want to focus on the negativity. I want to focus on the positivity moving forward and knowing that there could be a light at the end of this tunnel. So I just wanted to give you guys a little update there. We are still battling this every single day. It has not resolved yet, but I just wanted to make note and thank you guys so much for all of the support that you have given me through my channel. It's definitely very therapeutic for me to discuss it with you guys and if you're going through it too I'm sure it definitely helps you out talking about it so if you ever want to reach out to me personally please do so on my Instagram messages that way we can chat about it maybe you want to tell me something about yourself if you're going through it or you want to hear more about our story I'm always open to talking about it. All right I'm attempting my workout the caffeine is just necessary I just these are my favorite the Alani news um I'm just so tired um and it's not like a sleepy tired it's just like a brain tired you know like my brain's been going and going and going so i am exhausted i need a little caffeine pick me up i'm gonna go finish my workout get the lunch ready for the twins and max eat something myself and then i want to show you guys some really cute 
boy clothes that I ordered from Walmart. Hopefully they'll be in today and I can share with you guys in this vlog. I love to share really cute, affordable boys clothes here on my channel just because I feel like there's so many cute girl clothes out here. But since I'm a boy mom, I'm always looking for the cute boy stuff. So I love to share that here on my channel. Birds are waking me up. I never knew how good they're able to sing. Soft, cool bed and pillow top. While the sunbeam slowly moves and hits the sheets. So I lied. Here's a little bit of a recipe in today's video. I figured I would show you guys my all-time favorite salad. I'm making it for lunch. It's a copycat recipe from a place in Ocean City, New Jersey called Red's that actually closed down. So I love their salads so much, so I had to figure out how to make my own. Basically, you just take any type of lettuce of preference. I have spinach and arugula here. You need some chicken, tomato, cucumber, cotija cheese. And then for the dressing, I just do lime juice vinegar this is just white wine vinegar it's fine um and avocado oil drizzle that on top and i'm actually going to use my salad choppers to chop this all up and make the bikini buster salad at home this is so simple yet so delicious loud in here right now my husband's uh getting the grass done right by the window but these are the walmart clothes as promised i wanted to show you guys this little easy peasy set was just a couple of dollars on clearance it came with a really nice thick henley and an army green color with some matching jeans i think that's so cute that's gonna be for max also for max we got this little t-shirt it has a little uh, monster truck on it which he loves and i love all the colors for summertime this was 3.98 you can't beat it this little easy peasy set was also on clearance. It has Explore embroidered in it and these adorable little like linen shorts. I love these colors for summer. This is just so cute. The mustard yellow and the pale yellow. This Sonic set was on clearance. I grabbed this one for Mason, my oldest. They love Sonic and Pokemon and dinos and all the boy stuff. And I just like this print and color and bonus the whole outfit was super cheap. And the most adorable part of this haul are these two rompers right here for Jackson and Lukey. These are so cute. They're by the Granimals brand. I just think these will be so easy and convenient for the summertime and I love the prints on them. These were only $5.98. I couldn't pass these up for the twins, but I'm gonna go ahead and end today's video here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on any future videos and I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye. Never up, never down, never Like a theme in a song, clever